everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be speaking of uh, a little bit of the operations. Everybody already knows about the options, operations that play War Robots. Uh, maybe except for the people that play on Amazon, because they, they get later updates than Android. I th same thing goes to Steam, uh, which is PC, I believe. Alright, so what I'm testing out today is the Glory on the Fenrir instead of the Avenger and the new phase shift. That was on the previous video. But today's video is more like going to be focused on how strong can how strong is the hover with freedom igniters and freedom who saw who start and I said freedom igniter already and blaze. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so here's where I'm at right now. Level 32, trying to get to at least level 40 before I purchase the pass. I already saw Manny's video on the operation. It is very worth it. I counted it up myself too. So in the meantime, let's just hop into battle. And I am going to get that, the scavenger griffin, which honestly looks amazing. So we're running face shift and everything except the Fenrir. We're going to spawn up with the Aljun for obvious reasons. Um, to already have a bit of pressure and two on the center beacon and two, um, cause this thing deals insane amount of damage. In the next video, I will be speaking of how strong the Avenger Aljun is versus Redeemers. So I'm gonna do, um, Aljun Redeemer versus Aljun Avenger. Which one's better? Um, I'm, I wait for my flight. But you know what, let's just... Get up here. Damn, already got locked down. But as you see, we're doing decent amount of damage with some help of, uh, of some of my teammates. See how much damage you can do on the Ares. Oh yeah, Ares nerf is here, and I love this nerf. Oh my god, look at the damage we did to this man. Oh god, it's a Hades. Oh, he's running the shield too. All right, so we're gonna activate the phase shift. Look at that. I love how the robot looks too. But what I hate of all modules is how they're insanely expensive just to use them oh my god can you stop i'm trying to i'm trying to live here all right so let's run up over here we got an inquisitor here and let's, after after hitting him with most of the, uh, with most of our weaponry Let's just go up here and deal as much damage as we can. Yep, we brought him down to last stand level. Alright. So now here's the real test. This is not the ta this is not the map to run this setup because well as you see it's a long range map, it's Yamanta. It's better to run it on, for example, um what was the thing? The the map um Dead City um, what's that? A uh, moon. Perfect. Oh god. We are running the phase shift on this. How strong can we make this hover? My god, I'm getting hit from a couple sides. He's reloading. I'm gonna die here now. Unless if we get some help from, from some teammates. Which I maybe I might actually be able to get rid of this guy. Alright, we didn't get that kill, but it don't matter. God, alright. So let's bring the uh, b let's ring some fire up here in the uh, base. Or should I say the beacon? Remember, keep in mind, guys, that these, that this weapons, that the weapons here, oh my god, I know where to go. Alright, we got three kills of that, not bad. Alright, what I was saying is, remember, guys, that the weapons, the blaze is only level six. What, Unfreedom Igniter is level four, and the other one's level two. No stuff is insanely leveled. I'm here just to show you guys if things are worth purchasing. Manny, which has everything, which tests out things at Mark II and everything, he's the one that shows if it's worth upgrading and using all your iron and time to get those weapons up to level. 
So what I try to focus on here is giving you guys the best content with low level weapons. I won't say super low level because most of mine are level 7 through 9. No, except, uh, except two which are the thunders. I really want to jump in there. I really want to jump. Alright, we're going to jump it, boys. Four, three, two. And our legs are damaged a bit. Can we jump it? Can we make the jump? We're almost there. Almost there. Boom! Bait it! And we killed him. We got out of one. No, get out of here. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, couldn't make it. But I got rid of the nemesis. That was well played, I, I believe. And guys, let me know in the comment section below because I am also wondering why um, when you purchase the bat, when you purchase the pass, do you get um, what's it, uh, do you get the? I know you get the the, the premium levels, but do you get uh, also the prices for new levels that you do get? I believe you do, but if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. I see that Loki in the corner. He's really gonna, he's gonna yeah he's gonna mess up our battle. If nobody stands over there and actually has Quantum Raider, I don't have Quantum Raider. Because in this video, I'm once again, I'm uh, part two of testing the, um, the phase shift. And, uh, oh yeah, and the, all the Pantheon robot nerfs are here, currently. Um, I have a, I get, I have a, what was it, 15%? Uh, I lose 15% of my speed once I'm down here. Look, uh, look at my speed now. And look at it now. It is so much slower. But Aries though, you could really see it. It turns like a uh, like a like a freaking bulwark. That's how slow it goes. Like that one up there. Let's hit him. We couldn't really do any decent damage because he activated the shield. And at the end of this video, I will give you, at the end of this video, I will give you guys my perspective and what I 100% think about the phase shift and what it needs and what it doesn't and what can be improved on it. One of the things that I'm trying to say here, if you guys are wondering, to, going to go skip to that part. No, I don't, I'm not going to say, oh, we need it to last longer. No, because you guys already saw what happened to Ares. Get up this three. I'm so confident. Alright, we got him down the last stand level. We got him. Alright. I wanna I'm I'm gonna press some I'm gonna put some pressure on it. Yep. This hit the lance a lot because it doesn't have the fifty percent. Oh we actually got him. Can we take the beacon though? That's so good if we could take this beacon. Yes, we turned it into white beacon. I'm so close. Boop! <laughs> you thought I was gonna do that. Oh, uh, two, one. Alright, we can just hit him now. Can we bring them down to last stand level? That would be very nice. Alright, our team is botting out here, but I still got my Fenrir. We could still pack a punch of this thing. In the next video, I'll show you guys how, um, how if we can make it to the other side, to the other boat to, uh, on Carrier. You guys have seen hundreds of videos showing fails of that and very close even Manny tried it with a triple jump of the raven not even three jumps for, uh, can get you over there but i have a plan and the reason i won't say it is because it's not in full effect right now i want uh it's not in full effect because i really don't have um some the re equipment that i need just put that upgrade and yeah, let's just skip it because why not? So, right, so now we got level 3 Freedom Igniter. I feel like using it on the Nemesis, but then it would it wouldn't make sense because the, the weapons wouldn't would bypass the shield. All right, um, what should we do here? Um, you know what? I'm gonna just leave it as is. You know, what? never mind. I'm gonna put like a small repair unit so I won't be wasting so much power cells. 
on this thing, I believe that it's fine with the phase shift. Everything else is fine, this is fine, that's fine. Alright, let's just hop into another battle and hopefully this thing will go better. Oh yeah guys, I did get my fourth Halo. But I was thinking of running it on the... On the, what's it called? On the invader, but I don't have three crawl. Oh my god, look at that. We already got a guy with the with the scavenger griffin. Man, does this thing look good? It does look good. It, it looks better than the old griffin, I'll give you that. Alright, so now let's put some pressure on the guys and slow them down before they reach this point of the beacon. How close can we get? Yep, that was the plan. For your shield. So you got an early shield even though one of my teammates died. Alright. So with the Griffin, I believe that it is fine. It really is fine. I just want to see what's going on. We're getting hit from something. I don't know what I'm getting hit by and I'm really confused. Oh yeah, I am loving the Redeemer buff. I love this thing. Yaga. You did that. Bye bye. Oh, never mind. You didn't thought. I guess I'm dead. This is what you get. Oh my god, our team has never collected that beacon. Great. I don't know why I accidentally, I accidentally fired. Alright, so I'm gonna focus on uh, capturing this beacon because I did not know that our teammates didn't collect it. I see an Aries teammate up here. Oh, come on, you beacon. Just be captured already. Oh, yeah, I have extra resistance points. That isn't gonna help me much. Nope. Alright, you really want. You just took out my testing robot. Now you get. Now you die. Bye bye. Damn, and I got the kill too. Perfect revenge. Guys, I have found a cheat way. Also, that's uh, along with tomorrow's video. I will show you guys a cheat to getting components for any robot that you want. But not any robot. The game chooses the robot that you're going to get components for. All you have to do is accept those components and hopefully get the robot. So right now, I do know. I'm going to I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. Or in the next video, yeah, I'm going to show you guys in the next video, because I'll show you guys in this video, the title won't be exactly the same, because I'm putting it as, um, how strong can we make the hover with two times, oh god, time, uh, two times, uh, freedom igniter, and one times, and one freedom, and one igniter, put it that way, Fla blaze, I think, I forgot the name of it. Ah, uh, lockdown. The only reason I did not use the face lift was because there was no point. I was already almost dead. I've chosen what I want to buy with my gold, guys. It is... Actually, no, I still haven't chosen. I'm still in the making of choosing what I want. Especially with the past. The past really helped us out. Helped me out, especially... So it's between Last Stand a and e Ao Guang. That is the one. These those are the things that I all right. Experience some lag here, boys. Those are the things that I want uh, to get. That I'm focusing on right now. Damn, it'd be like that sometimes. I saw the and he got he got locked by my other teammate, and I'm like, it'd be like that sometimes. Oh, they're, air they're making an Aries train. Yay! <laughs> oh, we actually might make be able to get another shield up. Two, one. Come on, come on, come on. Woo, we got the shield up, boys. Aries are running. Aries at last stand. He's gone. This is how you play the... Oh, God. This is how you play the, the face shift. This is how you outplay Ares with the with the Nemesis too. Never mind, he didn't activate the shield like oh and they still got the kill, let's go. 
I, he activated his weapons earlier than I thought he did, so I activated my heal so the weapons of his built-in weapons would get blocked. And then I would reject back to him. But he, since he activated the heal early, I wouldn't be able to play it. But then I saw the, um, the shock train specter, and I'm like, we gotta, we gotta take that opportunity for granted. So that's what I did, and it came out with me killing him. Perfect. Sorry, my guy. It'd be like that sometimes. We might go down here because we're right by the spawn. Alright, so let's quickly activate the healing. The healing, my bad. Healing. Healing. Oh my god, I didn't notice it. I thought that was an invader was on our team. But oh well, we won this match. Alright guys, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I'll make sure to um, let you guys know. Actually no, I won't let you guys know. I'll just upload the next video tomorrow. And it should be, or it will be tomorrow. Um, and remember, I have a plan for the carrier map. Um, not really any videos that I could think of right now. Oh, yeah, this monstrosity here. I'm planning to do a video with this. I'm just trying to upgrade the, the what's it called, the trebuchets. The, that, the level 2 one, I really need some improvement. And nothing really much else. Um, I have an extra pilot. What pilot did I get? Because I just opened the thing, the pilot. I just opened, oh, I got this one on the right. I don't know how, how to pronounce these names. All right. So let's quickly swap over. As you see, our whole e hangar has 40s on weapon on modules. Whoops. 40, 40, 40, 40, and 40. Yeah, we're using 40s now. We're not using 20s. But that's where I come into play. All right. So the phase shift, it is all right. I'd, I'd say that it requires at least less power cells. Yep. It requires less power cells like Manny. Especially the advanced healing. I don't I don't believe that healing is worth 20 power cells. 40. My bad. What should be done is the regular modules. The first ones that came out were the anti-control. The anti -control, the quantum radar. the And the re regular repair unit along with lockdown ammo. Should be 10. And all these. The phase shift. Death mark. Advanced healing. And I think I set them all. Should be 20s. That would really help us out, especially since power uh, power cells are so expensive. If you come over here and you try to buy power cells, this is what you get. 40 for 100, not worth it at all. So, there's where I'm standing at right now. About to get 400, and that's what I'm going to do. Alright, everyone. See you guys in the next video, and hope you guys enjoy. Alright, everyone. Subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. I'm out of here.